Welcome back to How to Authority. Now, one thing that can confuse a lot of people is understanding the temperature of their graphics card in the game PC and understanding exactly what kind of temperature is safe or normal. However, the thing is that these can vary wildly. For the most part, a safe idle temperature will be somewhere around 30 to 45 degrees Celsius. And when gaming, it's actually not unusual for it to jump all the way up into the 80s. But how do you even check your GPU's temperature? Well, the easiest way by far is to bring up Task Manager then go into performance and then right next to your GPU graphs you see exactly how hot the GPU itself currently is. Though it doesn't matter if it starts reaching such ridiculously high temperatures that most of us can't even imagine, well no, not really. It doesn't really matter until it starts hitting what's known as a T-junction, or basically the highest temperature the GPU can reach before it starts to slow itself down to bring the temperature down with it. And this is usually at around 90 to 100 degrees, but again, it depends on the graphics card. So don't worry, if your graphics card is getting pretty close to that, then it's nothing to worry about. If it's reaching those kind of temperatures, you can see some slowdown. Then of course, there's another issue with graphics cards getting that hot, and that is the noise with the fans on the graphics card itself and also in your PC as a whole, ramping up and getting pretty loud. So what exactly can you do to cool your GPU down if it gets to those kind of temps? Well, first off, make sure that the fans themselves are clean with little to no dust in and around your graphics card, but also check the other fans in your system, make sure they're all running fine and uncovered in too much dust. Then, if it still persists, you can, for example, take the graphics card apart and repaste it with new thermal paste, or apply some new thermal pads as well. Though that takes a lot of time, and of course it requires tearing down your entire card. Another issue could be that if you overclocked it, it could be a bit too aggressive. So you may want to tune down the OC if you've applied any. On the other hand, people may be worried if the graphics card isn't getting hot enough, almost as if it's just not being utilized to its fullest potential. In that case, the easiest way to check that is simply going to Task Manager while a game or any other heavy task is running and checking the GPU utilization. And it also depends on so many other things, like what graphics card you have and how it's cooled. Is it cooled by two fans or three fans? How thick is it and how much heatsink does it have? Or maybe it's not air cooled at all, but water cooled. For example, I have a water cooled card in my system, and because of it, it manages to maintain pretty good temps even when running Cyberpunk 2077 maxed out. So, as you can see, there's so many factors at play here, and overall, you really don't have to worry unless you can see your GPU going into those 90s. So, hopefully, this was a helpful video to you guys. If it was, make sure to subscribe to Have to Authority for more like this in the future.